accelerating, with a growing number of people tied to the former president reportedly called to testify. The department has yet to formally open a criminal investigation into Mr Trump, who has denied wrongdoing. But this news coincides with the former president's first event in Washington since he left the White House. He addressed supporters. Let's take a listen. Our country is being dealt one historic humiliation after another on the world stage. And at home, our most basic rights and liberties are totally under siege. The American dream is being torn to shreds, and we will not have a country left if this economic, social, and attack on civilization itself is not quickly reversed. Let's go live to Washington and talk to Julia Manchester, a reporter on The Hill. Good to see you again, Julia. What sort of reception did Donald Trump get last night? Well, essentially, Donald Trump spoke to a room full of supporters talking about law and order and other issues facing the country. But this really comes amid the backdrop of increasing coverage that the GOP, the Republican Party in the U.S., is at a crossroads. Do they want to go in the direction of Donald Trump, who, for the most part, has really been focusing on the 2020 presidential election results, which happened two years ago in the January 6th committee hearings investigating the attack on the Capitol? last year, while we have other potential 2024 presidential candidates like former Vice President Mike Pence, who, you know, very notoriously has split from President Trump due to the events that happened on January 6th. Then he said yesterday that he thinks the GOP needs to look forward, not backward. Definitely a reference to Trump's messaging. So I think right now, uh, Trump and Pence are very symbolic of the fork in the road the Republican Party finds itself at. Julia, what do you think the implications are of this potential investigation into Donald Trump by the Justice Department? Look, it's the most serious news we've heard about, uh, I guess, the fallout or a result of the January 6th committee that the Justice Department is speaking with individuals that were witnesses uh, to what happened on January 6th that definitely marks a potentially major development. That being said, though, I think we need to caution that this doesn't necessarily mean that the Justice Department is directly going after Trump. They're just asking questions. Uh, being said, like I said, it's a big development. How do you think the public view all of this? And does it change anyone's minds in terms of how they see Donald Trump? You know, in terms of the January 6th attacks, we know that the majority of Americans viewed that attack as an attack on our country, attack on democracy, and definitely very negative. That being said, though, I think the public, to a certain degree, has moved on from what happened. And when you see polling in the United States of what top election issues are, what the top issues for the American people are, the January 6th hearings and the fallout from that is actually pretty low on the list. The top issue is normally the economy, inflation, uh, the increase in violent crime we've seen in the U.S., and, you know, to some extent, the issue of the flow of migrants over the southern border with Mexico. So, you know, I think Americans definitely view what happened on January 6th as extremely negative, but they're ready to move on. But at the same time, we've seen those hearings get quite a bit of eyeballs, quite a bit of attention. So it's definitely.